Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise, this is Dear Designs, and welcome to November Vlogs. Today is the 1st of November. Um, I'm going to try and do a vlog every day in November. Um, I say try, it's not hard to vlog, but it's the editing. <laughs> um, so today is Wednesday. I'm waiting for the Sky Engineer to turn up. Uh, we're having problems with our internet, um, so they're coming between 10 and 12. It's 10 to 10 at the moment. I've done some tidying up where I need to tidy up, like around the Sky um, internet box um, and the TV box, just in case. Um, I don't know whether there's settings you can see on that one or not, I, I don't know. But first things first is I'm going to edit the vlog that I did yesterday and the day before um, and get that up today. So it's like a pre-November um, vlogs. I'm going to find it really hard not to say Vlogtober or Vlogmas <laughs> and November vlogs. <coughs> um, but I might just not mention it too much, I don't know. I've mentioned it a lot over the last few videos if you've been watching um, so yeah I've made myself a coffee I've actually got my filtered coffee machine out I thought oh it's that time of the year that I don't like in the summer I make cold brew coffee and in the winter I do like my filter coffee I've got it in my best knitter in the world cup that my niece bought me a few years ago um, so yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee, get some editing done, wait for the sky man. Um, yeah. Also, I did work a little bit more on my basket, which I will show you in a bit. But today, I'm thinking of knitting, or trying to knit as close to the end as I can on the first half of Clue 3 of the Stephen West Make Along. That's what I'm going to try. Uh, we will see. Hmm. Right. I did want to get some lasering done as well, but I don't know whether I'm going to do that today or not. We'll see. See what the where the day takes me. Um, <clears throat> I need to find out what, how my sister's feeling because we was going to go and see my uncle tonight. Um, but she she didn't feel very well yesterday. So and he's had an operation. So the last thing we want to do is go there and him not be, like, someone not be well. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, gonna find out what's happening later. But yeah, that's, that's about it so far. Let's get editing. Um, and then I also finished this yesterday, you probably see it in the last vlog, this little Pikachu thing. <laughs> um, it's cute, but it's so ugly at the same time. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to get that in the post today. Um, the lady only lives, it, she doesn't live far away, but it's just easier to post it, I think. I don't think it's going to stand up now either. Um, oh, it will. It will stand up. Right, let's get all these bits and pieces sorted. So it's now ten past twelve. The Skyman has been, um, and thankfully, in a way, <laughs> that... He tested the line and it came up with a fault um, and he had to change something in the little box that's on the wall, not the modem but the, the box. Um, he's done that and it's come up clear, he did a couple of tests um, just to make sure, um, tested the speed um, and everything and yeah it all seems fingers crossed to be okay. Um, and I did mention to him about the uh, game the other day taking forever and he went oh show me where the, the telly is and the Xbox and all this, that and the other and I was like, oh, it's just all here, like, it's all together and he went, why don't you hardwire the Xbox to the, the Skybox because it acts as a booster I was like, I didn't even know you could do that so, um, I've just spoken to Ian and he's going to order a cable to hardwire it to the Skybox, we've got SkyQ um, and the man said, even though the, the SkyQ box isn't hardwired to the uh, modem because it just acts as a booster because they're the, the same they're coming off the same th I don't know I I don't know anyway he said it, it should help <laughs> um, it's absolutely pouring with rain um, I'm not going to my uncle's this evening because there's someone at the door I can hear 
um, because Casey's not well. So, uh, yeah, not going to my uncle's. Obviously, I could go on my own, but uh, we normally go together um, with the boys and that. So, hopefully, in a few days, we'll be able to go. Um, so, yeah, um, I've just designed the thumbnail for my November vlogs. You would have seen that already. Um, I haven't done an intro. I don't think it needs an intro. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do an intro because if you're watching my vlogs every single day, you don't need to see the same beginning every single day. It could get a bit irritating. Um, so I'm just going to have my thumbnail. Um, I'll change it up a little bit, but not, not too much. Um, so I'm going to go and see what was dropped at the door. Probably Ian's... Timu, the rest of Ian's Timu order. Um, I, I don't even know what he's ordered, to be honest. Um, I've packaged up the little um, Pokemon thing that needs to go. Um, and I'm going to go and sort out some lunch. Because I'm getting hungry. Um, is this connected back to the internet? Yes, it needs to restart. I might... Um, I don't even restart. Uh, I might catch up with the rest of Vlogtobers. Um, I think I'm about eight days behind now on YouTube. So I might sit and watch a bit of that and do some of my um, my shawl. Get the first half done. Like I said I was going to do. And then tomorrow I think tomorrow I might get up a bit earlier and do some engraving. Um, that's my plan and get the stitch markers that I want to get done because I did get another um, so I've got two packets of these come through but what makes me laugh is there's a there's actually the, there's a button in here <laughs> um, they're just plain discs um, uh, you get a hundred in a, in a pack that's how I order them anyway um, and then yeah there's a button in this one <laughs> I don't know about the other one never mind I have got some left over from the first lot, but um, I ordered some more because they're quite good at actually. Because you could, I could make buttons and stuff with them. So and then do like a little fancy design around it. There's there's multiple things I can do. Right, let's go and see what was at the door and get some lunch. So this package that was at the door, Ian's told me to open. He's on the phone here. Well, I've got scissors that are Timu scissors. Hurry up, then. I'm getting there. Have, have you bought me something that's going to stop my leak? In the car, it says interior. Smells nice too. Wait, what? It smells nice too. How does it smell? It's glass. No, but I don't know. It smells like it smells like roses. Maybe it's the ribbon. Thank you. Sorry about that. That was a little bit weird, but um, oh my god, Ian's bought me this um, rose, and it's an eternal rose, um, eternal petals. Um, there was no information in the box. It's from um, Arena K Interior, um, and all I can say is that it's got this on the inside. Oh, there is a little thing in here. Oh, um, memories that last a lifetime can be symbolised by a rose like no other, a rose that outlives the rest, a rose that you can keep 
with you years after the moment you first hold it and this one is just for you oh it's so lovely it's so lovely and pink oh i love it so much so there's another um thing here minimum care requirements do not water do not refrigerate do not remove flowers from their arrangement avoid direct exposure to sunlight to protect your rose color from fading except for white roses avoid excessive humidity keep arrangement indoors at room temperature oh it's lovely it's so lovely thank you ian i know you're probably not going to watch this vlog but thank you So I might seem a little bit out of breath, that's because I've just had to leap in the loft. Um, so I sat here and I was texting Ian, he's been called out for work as well, it's nearly 20 past 3. He finishes officially at 3, um, but he's been called out so I don't know what time he'll be home. Um, yeah, there, there was something that went crash bang wallop um, above me and the only thing that above me is our loft. <laughs> So I jumped up there and the box of yarn that I balanced on top of one of the suitcases had fallen down. Um, but it had fallen down but just wedged itself in between the beams. Um, so I've just turned it over and wedged it on the beam now. It's like a big massive um, crate thing um, that I've got yarn in. Uh, so yeah, that is... Um, that's what that that is what happened and then while I was in the loft I've decided to get the rug out that I've got up there um, to see if it helps with the coldness um, I don't know if it will or not but I've just give it a good clean um, I've got some oosh or something I can't remember what it's called it's in a pink can it might be sh shush or shush I don't know um, it's in a pink can, I've put it back in the cupboard and I just sprayed the bits that were had stains on um, because we did originally put that in the loft to use in the loft because I was going to have a craft room up there um, Ian was going kit to it, kit it out up there um, but I decided not to uh, we've got too much stuff up there for one and it's not easy to get in and out so I was like no I don't I don't think that's a good idea so uh we are looking at getting some loft ladders though, um, then it will be easier to get in and out but not for craft room reasons. <laughs> anyway, um, I've just scrubbed it and it's it, the stains come up nice and I was like oh I could do the rest of it, it's not very big, uh, so I, it, it comes out like foam and it foams up, so I've just done that. I need to hoover it in two hours it says. Um, and then I'm going to put it under the table to see what it's like. Um, I'm only going to use this one temporarily. And if it does help with the coldness, I'm going to get a bigger rug, I think. Um, and then maybe just have it down in the winter and then pull it up in the summer. Um, see how we get on. Um, yeah, so that's what I've just been doing. I've been working on the shawl and I've been working on clue is it three? Oh my god I'm getting so bored so so bored of this clue um yeah I've still got quite a way to go as you can see because you go down to about six stitches I think I've still got 69 70 stitches here so yeah still quite a lot to go um but yeah I'll just carry on um, knitting away and I'm sure it'll be fine I am probably gonna only knit on this for a little bit longer though so I might finish the page because the I don't know if I'll finish the page or not we'll see how I feel <laughs> um, I did print off the um, the chart thing to help I've just been ticking that off um, and if I do that, it's another 20 rows, 20-ish rows. I don't know whether I want to do 20 more rows. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I think this might be an item that goes in a pile, I'm sad to say, because I'm getting bored and I've only done one side and I don't know, I might have to, I know what I will do, Throughout, throughout November, obviously not today, I'm going to work on this for 30 minutes and that's it. Just 30 minutes, um, a little bit like Kay from uh, the, the Crazy Sock Lady. She does 30 minutes of knitting in the morning. Um, I might do that every morning um, and see how I get on. Just plod along at it slowly. Um, and then even when I get to the next clues, I can just 30 minutes and, and see how we go. So, yeah. Um, I am going to put this away actually because I've just broken for the next colour which will be my third colour. Uh, I've been working on this for quite a bit this afternoon so I'm pleased with how far I've got. Um, I don't know how far I was. I think I have put in a good fair amount of rows. Yeah so I'm going to put this away and this is going to be my 30 minutes of knitting and then throughout November we can see if we actually get it finished in uh, November. Um, for you that want to see the shawl, here it is. Uh, um, I think this is the top. So it goes like this. Um, I really love my colours. Like I'm so happy with my colours. Um, that's back to front, Denise. So this is the front. Um, I've got lots of ends to weave in, um, but I'm going to do that once I've finished that side. Um, right, I'm going to put this away and I'm going to do an hour on my basket and then I'm going to do an hour or more and I might work on that throughout um, this evening on my Whitmore. I'm feeling it working on my whipped more. So this is going to go in its bag. Which I think the colours go quite well actually. Um, I'm just working from my knit companion. And I find that works really well. And I'm working from my knit companion for the Whitmore as well. So. And my aim as well for November is to drink a whole one of these. I did do quite well in the summer. But when it gets a bit cooler... I don't find I drink enough water um, and like I have got my coffee machine out so I will need to top up my coffee intake with some water. Um, I'm going to try and drink at least one of these. I know that's not a lot but I do drink other things as well so one of these of water a day um, and I'm up to here. It's three o'clock so mm. yeah. And it will keep me accountable because it's got times on it. This was from Home Bargains. I think it was about three, three pounds. Something like that. And I like the way it's got the flip lid. And the lid, it can also, it's got like this clasp thing on it that you can, can shut it as well. So even if you put it in your bag, this won't open because it's clipped shut and it's got this on it. Um, yeah, I just like that bottle. Right, um... The internet's been working fine. Let's hope that continues. <laughs> um, but I will show you the rug once I've hoovered it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work an hour on this. Let me show you the progress I've got. Um, so here was where I um, stopped increasing. And this is just all... It's massive. It's bigger than I thought it would be. But... Um, I think it's going to be ideal for what I want it for, to put all my whips in. Um, and I'm just going to go all the way up with all of the yarn that I've got, I think. Um, this is still my first three balls, so I'm doing quite well. Um, I just keep them in there and, and pull them out. So, right, let's put YouTube back on, get my hook out, and do some more crochet. So I've been doing this for about an hour and 
it's getting dark it's half past four now but I have been on my phone and um, I have ordered something <laughs> um, that's hopefully going to help me in the future with a camera um, I've ordered some quick release um, plates oh let's turn that around a bit um, yeah some quick release plates for the um, tripods so I do have three tripods um, I have the one that you're on now which is um, an extendable tripod um, it's a handheld one but it extends as well and then I've got my Manfrotto handheld one which is just small um, and then I've got another Manfrotto one that is, that is a big tall one um, so it, they're, they're quite easy to use don't get me wrong like they're not hard and they just all screw at the bottom um, but I just think it would be a lot easier and quicker um, if I had quick release plates um, so I'll see how I'll get on with them um, I've just ordered them from Amazon so if they're no good or I don't find them any easier I, I will just send them back um, so we'll see how that goes um, I've now gone into a few different colours of this now um, it's going to be very mishmashy <laughs> um, I really like the base um, I'm glad I did like a darker base um, so and it's very pink and red at the moment uh, but I think the other balls have got sort of blues and um, greens and stuff in them so I'm just looking forward to seeing every colour that comes in and seeing how it works up um, and how different it can look. So it's like you've got some, I've got some green here, this side might be easier, I've got some green in here with pink and grey and then it goes into pink, blue and grey here and at the moment I've got a light pink, dark pink and a blue. So yeah it's just it's just interesting to see the different colours that it fades into and it is fading because every colour is it's not breaking at the same point um, so that's quite nice I do think these balls of yarn are going to finish quite near each other because they are roughly the same size I did do them all roughly the same size anyway um, yeah it's half past four Ian's still not home I think he's on his way home It'll probably be another half hour, 45 minutes-ish. Um, I'm still waiting for that rug to... I've still... I think there's another 50-ish minutes on the timer. Um, it's in the hallway at the minute, so if Ian does get home, I'll, I'll have to move it because it will be wet, I think. I might check it in about 20 minutes um, and see. For dinner tonight, we've either got a chilli pasta bake or I picked up some of the calorie controlled meals from Tesco um, I thought we'd give them a try just for um, days where I can't be bothered <laughs> um, that's not today but I don't know what date is on them I think it's the end of the week but um, we'll see see what Ian fancies when he gets in um, but yeah is it raining again? no I don't think so um, tomorrow there is a weather warning for um, the most of the UK um, for wind so I honestly don't know what tomorrow is going to bring with the weather um, normally the tiles on our roof do rattle quite a lot and we've had tiles slide down before as well and when I got in the loft a little while ago as I lift lifted the loft hatch oh my god the breeze that came through <laughs> was crazy um, so so and the other thing is I might get Ian to put some um, Oh, what's it called? Draft stop on that. Maybe the draft's coming from there as well. 
didn't think of that. Because in of an evening in the winter when we're sat here, and if I'm sat in the other corner of the chair, oh, the draft, I have to shut the door because the draft, it just feels like it's cutting my neck. It's awful. But then as soon as that door's shut, it warms up in here really quickly, even without the heating on. Um, I suppose the heat from the telly and um, the the amp and the skybox and it, and our body heats, I suppose. If there's no way for it to escape, then it's just going to warm up. Right, I'm going to maybe work on my Whitmore a bit or my eyelet burst. Um, I might work on my Whitmore. Just see if I can do a few more rows of that. I'll be back when I pull that out and do a bit more work on that. So this is what the rug looks like. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think it needs to be pulled over this way a bit more because we do pull it up to have our dinner. And it's gone a bit like wavy, but I don't know whether that's just where it needs to settle again. It's been folded up in the loft. So excuse the mess on the table. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, our table just has everything on it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to going to try, oh, I'm out of breath now where I've just tried to uh, put the table on it. But it's really wobbly here. I'm hoping it'll flatten out and Ian doesn't trip over it when he gets home. So, um, it's not it's not that big. Um, what I really want is one that goes underneath the chair up that way as much as possible. Um, so, yeah. This will do for now. We'll see how we get on. So, yeah, I'm going to go and do dinner. It's ten past five and Ian's just rang to say, I'm hungry, please start dinner. <laughs> so we're going to have um, chilli and I'm going to do that now. But I just feel like I filmed a lot today. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching the 1st of November and I hope the rest of the month goes as well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.